Compression socks are becoming more and more popular for athletes looking to run faster, train harder, and avoid injury. So I decided to stop by Fleet Feet San Francisco and talk to the pros about compression technology and how their athletes are using these socks to run faster and train harder and avoid injury. Hi, I'm Dr. Christopher Segler and I'm a sports medicine podiatrist here in San Francisco and I'm here today at Fleet Feet, which is uh, easily the best running shoe store in San Francisco to talk about um, some ways to run faster, train harder, and uh, most importantly avoid injury. And one of the things I'm a big fan of is the compression socks and they're sort of grown in popularity recently. In fact, if you watch the Ironman World Championships this year, it seemed like every age grouper there was pretty much wearing them. Um, the, the deal with the compression socks, which are up here behind us, uh, is that there are studies that show, particularly uh, with the CEP type compression socks, that they um, not only increase blood flow to the, the foot and the ankle, but they provide a lot of stability. And so for people that run marathons or Ironmans, that sort of thing, uh, there are studies that show um, that they re that the athletes that wear those during those long running events can uh, run with a lower uh, rate of perceived exertion, which basically means less fatigue, and run more efficiently, and we think also prevent uh, injury as well. Um, so Manny here um, is from Fleet Feet is going to talk about uh, a little bit about what he sees with the you know compression socks and their use, as well as the difference between the CEP and the Skins uh, type uh, compression socks. Now between the two, they uh, they essentially obviously would do the same thing, but the end result is the same. Just as uh, Dr. Chris has just mentioned, how they just kind of give a little bit better circulation throughout the lower leg uh, to lessen the fatigue and reduce muscle vibration in the legs. Now between the two, uh, there's a little bit of a difference between the type of uh, materials that's being used. With the CEP, it's, that has a little more of a cotton infused to into it. So essentially, it does compress a little bit closer to the foot, provides a little bit more. Uh, a little bit more of a plant compression to the leg. Now, essentially, with the CEP, it does have a little bit. It doesn't get closed in onto the leg as much. So, but it's still, like I said, the end result is still the same. So, essentially, it just comes down to which one you just feel a little bit more comfortable with on your leg, and which one feels like you can use on a consistent basis. Uh, some people will actually kind of use it for either while they're running, um, while others would prefer to use it just as a recovery tool. When using it while you're running, some people might feel like it's just it's like an extended kind of sock, so they may not like anything on their actual legs. They want to just use it just for the recovery, uh, like I said, just to reduce that uh, fatigue time and kind of get you back out there a little sooner than thought you could. Yeah, great. So I, I personally use the CEP uh, compression socks and have for about a year and a half or so. And um, for me personally, I started using them kind of like you said with recovery, where um, I would sort of wear them, you know, I would get done with my run, take a shower, step, put them on, and basically sleep in them that night. And I noticed that it really increased my speed of recovery uh, significantly. Mm -hmm. um, I started wearing them in longer runs too and noticed that I actually do feel like I recover faster and get less swelling when I do my long runs. So when I do long runs, and for me that's anything over about 13 miles, um, so anything, you know, 15, 16, 20, you know, in those long, long runs, I always wear the compression socks, mm -hmm. and um, and then depending on the race, we'll wear them sometimes in the long races, like Ironmans as well. Um, what, what do you think most people do in terms of using them? Do you, do you recommend just the longer runs, or what, what is your preference? Uh, well, for my preference, I've always kind of used it as, as a recovery tool, same mm -hmm. as you're doing in the beginning. Um, for myself, actually, with anything that's longer than just an ankle sock is a bit is uh, kind of feels like inhibits my running a bit. Yeah. And uh, so for, for me, I, I prefer it as a recovery. But um, as far as the masses go, there is a lot of people kind of using it um, while they're running, more so than they have been before. Uh, a lot of people were using it as just a recovery tool. Um, but since, uh, like I said, there's a lot more people out there getting into like their longer runs and they want to recover a little faster, so they use it during the runs as well. And just to prove that I do use them myself, that's a picture of me at Ironman Louisville in 2009. If you have a question about whether or not compression technology can help you avoid injury, run faster, and train harder, you can call me directly at 415-308-0833.